a website and you see these advertisings, right? Or, or last time I show you this app and one of the customer or fans said that there's so many ads inside this little like a little app see ads like this and then you have to close this and then you have to do whatever you want today i'm going to show you to you how to do this and i'm going to teach you two more different tricks on your samsung galaxy phone and listen to me this will work guarantee so you go to the setting you go to dns okay you search dns and after you search DNS, go to private DNS and listen to me, this will work. You go to private DNS, you go to here and type exactly the same, exactly the same and press save. Now you can pause and retype this. After that, let's just say if we go back to the website, let's just say we're going to go to NHL.com. Okay. I'm going to go in there. You will see the ads is gone. Okay, the top, the ads is gone. Now you choose anything you want. Let's just say I want this. You go in, there is no ads anymore because we actually block it. Okay, you see that? If I go in here, there is no ads. And if you look around your, your whole applications, there is no ads involved anymore. All right, so this is one of the pretty good our trick to block all the ads except YouTube. So I'm going to teach you two more different tricks how you can actually navigate your phone much better. So let's get started. Go into the setting and then you search side button. I will highly recommend everybody try using big speed. So we're going to go to a long press and then press big speed. And what does this do is you can talk to big speed every time you press this button right there and tell them to do anything you want within the setting. So let's just say I want to say, turn on my volume by 15%. Okay. Turn on my mobile hotspot. Mobile hotspot is now on. Can you tell me my, what is my hotspot password? Here it is. Can you turn off my mobile hotspot? All right, I turned off mobile hotspot. This is exactly like Siri, but not like Gemini because Gemini cannot access your settings and start uh, turning everything on. They cannot do that. Can you turn up my volume by 50%? And then they will do this for you. Can you turn off my volume right now? Okay, so you don't have to go to the setting and keep searching things like that. You can actually turn up my brightness by 50%. Done. Right, so they will do everything for you and you don't have to do any searching, any like, I don't know, like typical, uh, like very difficult words. You just let them to do everything for you. So I will highly recommend people turn on their big speed button on the side just make your life more simple or just, just tell them one, what you want them to do. Turn on Wi-Fi, turn on Bluetooth, anything like that, that's simple. Just press that and then that's it. Very simple. Turn on flashlight. Okay, so make sure you do that and it's quite easy to navigate if you start using that. More simple. The final features I would like you to do is, is actually right down here, that little person right down here. When you press this, it's like a navigator. It will never find, and it will just zoom in and out on things that you cannot really see properly, right? So now, how do we set this up? Or do we need to change something else? Sure. We go to the setting. We will go all the way down to accessibility, okay, right there. And now when we go to accessibility, we're going to go to advanced setting. You can see that. Now at the top here, you can see accessibility button. In here, you can put more than one, but I highly suggest you just do one because this is a shortcut anyway. You don't want to spend time to select which one you want. So I suggest you just choose one. So let's just say I don't want magnify. 
Okay, you can see one, you can say two, or two, three, four. You can see, you can select four, but it's not cool. Because if you press this, it will ask you to select what function do you want. I don't want to do that. I want to just choose one, so everything just right away. So let's just say I want to do extra dim or um, mute all the sounds or live translate sounds notifications, right? Things like that. You can do anything you want. So let's just say I want to mute all the sounds, okay? Suddenly, just like a button on the iPhone, you can use this. Now, when you press this button right here, your phone has no sound, even when you're talking on the phone, okay? There's no sounds, and that's mute all the sounds on. And this is off, okay? So make sure that you set this up, see which one you like the most, and then set it up on here, and it will be much faster. That's another shortcut, having this bar right here instead of a line. Please subscribe to my channel, share this video, and have a good day. Bye-bye. Peace out.